गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्सेलरेशन लेटस सी व्हाट इज एक्सेलरेशन द चेंज इन वेलोसिटी और यूनिट टाइम टाइम इज कॉल्ड एक्सेलरेशन हियर एक्सेलरेशन इज डिनोटेड बाय ए acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time change in velocity means final velocity माइनस इनिशियल वेलोसिटी अपॉन टाइम एज यू नो फाइनल वेलोसिटी इज डिनोटेड बाय वी माइनस इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इज डिनोटेड बाय यू एंड फॉर टाइम it is denoted by t so acceleration a equal to v minus u upon t by applying this formula we can find out acceleration in a body now as you know a psi unit of acceleration is a psi unit of acceleration is मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर हियर वेन अ बॉडी मूव्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन देन इफ इट्स वेलॉसिटी चेंजेस बाई इक्वल अमाउंट इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम देन the acceleration of the body is said to be uniform so acceleration in a body it may be uniform acceleration uniform acceleration what is uniform acceleration when the velocity of a body changes by equal amount equal amount in equal interval of time then acceleration acceleration of the body is said to be said to be uniform 
okay so what is uniform acceleration when the velocity of a body changes by equal amount in equal interval of time then acceleration of the body is said to be uniform acceleration may be non uniform also so let us see what is uh, non uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration what is non uniform acceleration when the velocity of a body velocity of a body changes by unequal amount unequal amount in equal interval of time the acceleration of the body body is said to be said to be non uniform non uniform okay so what is non uniform acceleration when the velocity of a body changes by unequal amount in equal interval of time the acceleration of the body is said to be non uniform now take a screenshot of it now let us we know how we can draw different uh, graphs for different types of motion so distance time graph distance time graph to draw distance time graph we always take time on x axis and distance on y axis okay because distance to draw distance time graph time is uh, independent factor and distance covered by the body is dependent factor so independent factor which is time that is always taken on the x axis so let us uh, consider a data for uniform motion now 
this is distance covered in meter and here time taken in second time is zero distance covered is zero time one second distance covered let 5 meter time 2 second distance covered 10 meter time 3 second distance covered 15 meter 4 second distance covered 20 meter 5 second distance covered 25 meter so for this data this is for uniform motion uniform motion so on the graph paper we will draw x and y axis this is origin and uh, now we select a suitable scale so what is the suitable scale on x axis one centimeter is equal to one second and on y axis one centimeter is equal to five meter it is distance covered so this is the suitable scale we will write to the top corner of the graph and now on the x axis we will represent time 0 1 taking 1 centimeter 2 3 4 5 6 in this way and on x on y axis we will mark 5 10 because this is the scale we have considered 15 20 25 this is time taken time taken in second and this is distance covered distance covered in meter okay so so now we will see the data time zero second distance covered is zero so we put a point here this is zero time and zero distance now time one second and distance covered is 5 meter so 1 second is this and 5 meter so put a point here and similarly 2 second 15 meter so put a point here 3 second 15 meter put a point here 4 second 20 meter so 4 second is this 20 meter put a point here and 5 second it is 25 meter so this is 5 second and 25 meter so put a point here and now by using a scale join we will join all the points
Now, in this way, uh, we can draw distance time graph for uniform motion. And as you can see, distance time graph starts from origin and it is a straight line. So, when a distance time graph is a straight line, it means the motion of the body is uniform. So, it represents uniform motion. And from this graph, we can find nature of motion. So, since you can see distance time graph is a straight line, so nature of motion is uniform, uniform and we can also find the speed of the body, speed of the body. between any time interval, we can find the speed. Suppose, if we want to find the speed of the body between 2 and 4 seconds. So, Let, if we want to know the speed of the body between time interval 2 to 4 seconds, so this is T1 and this is T2 and the distance covered is let S1 and at this time distance covered is S2. So, since we know that speed of the body is equal to distance covered distance covered upon time taken. So, what is the distance covered? To know distance covered, we can do it S2 minus S1. S2 is final distance at 4 seconds and S2 is, S2 means 20 meter and S1 means 10 meter. So, S2 minus S1 upon time interval is T2 minus T1. T2 is final time which we have considered and T1 is initial time. So, by putting the value we can find the speed. As you can see from the distance time graph S2 is 20 meter. So, it is 20 meter minus S1 it is 10 meter, 10 meter upon T2 minus T1. T2 means 4 second minus T1 means 2 second. So, this is 20 meter minus 10 meter. It is 10 meter upon 4 second minus 2 second, this is 2 second. So, speed is 5 meter per second. In this way, from distance time graph, you can find out the nature of motion of the body and speed of the body between any time interval.
Now take a screenshot of it. Now this session is completed. We will discuss some more uh, types of distance graph in the next video. Thank you students.